Good morning and welcome to Saturday. Final day. It's the final day in the house. Harry is on his way from Banbury with the van. Come do another van load. Glenn and Harry, they're like gathering all the loose bits. I have been given one of the rubbish jobs and I, I don't like it. I'm just saying. It's not my favourite job, but I'm going to do it. Thank you. So these are the last two pots that need emptying. That was such a messy job. One final bed to do. I can't break this one because this is going to Naomi's. Ryan's going to have this bed. So this one needs to come down intact. In one piece. In one piece. Hachi, do you want me to do anything? And just put everything else in that box there. Okay. That's left. And then anything else there. Well, that's it. Upstairs, completely clear. Just needs to be hoovered and, and a, a wipe over. And that's upstairs done. We just got these few bits here. And there's my pile of stuff there. Couple of things on the bar that Glenn's got to clear. This room nearly done. There's some cleaning stuff there. And this room is done. And they're just clearing the final few pots from here. Oh, they're having to have a big rearrange to fit everything in. So that's everything from out here. There is just one last thing. And we're not even taking this with us. The big metal workbench. We're putting outside for the scrap metal man. Hi. That's the job done, my darling. Yeah, it's been emotional. It it's has been emotional. Hard. It's hard, isn't it? Don't know if it's been last it's been time. Been a journey. Yeah, don't know if it's been last time for me in the house, or you know, I might have to come back and help and do some other bits. But yeah, yeah it's hard. It's it, tricky. it is. Yeah. It is. Well. Darling, drive safely back up that M1. All right. We'll all right. see you in about an hour. Yeah. Take care. See you in a bit. <laughs> so H is jumping in the van is going to get going back to the unit. thing about this is although the house is empty now we have now got a unit full of stuff that needs to be got rid of so it's not the end it's just the end of that chapter Harry's called to say that there's actually a bit of a jam on the motorway I think it's just one lane's closed so we're back in Northampton our first stop is to Naomi's where She's having the single bed. <laughs> That's so much, so much stuff.
Nearly done now, H. Nearly done. Hello, clown. What's Debbie saying? She's got a delivery to Bout, uh, Borton. So uh, up Kingswood, where we are. Yeah. Um, so we're going to empty this out. Yeah. Everything that's going to ours and Deb's. Yeah. Back on. Yeah. We can go down to the shop, get the van. Yeah. Transfer everything over to Debbie's van. Okay. So we can take this back. Okay. Delivery. Bish bash. It will work. Uh, mood dipping. Mood dipping. Glenn's a little bit snappy. Harry just wants to get it done. Is it really you remember, heavy? You remember the debacle of getting the freaking thing in? Oh, I don't. I'm going to move that out of the way. Okay. Um, All this stuff has to go back in the van and then be swapped to another van. And just put that over there. Okay. Can you, my knees you actually need. Just sort of steady it so it's upright. There you go. Right. I didn't want to get your hands stuck in I was so heavy. It took three of us to get that out of the van. I mean, I didn't do much apart from just hold it. Oh, hey, Chi, we're nearly done, my darling. Well, this bit's nearly done. Right. So we've emptied the stuff into there. We've put back into the van the stuff that's either going to my mum's, Debbie's or Harry's. I just emptying the gulf and then I'm going to go and do the flower delivery whilst Glenn and Harry go to my mum's to drop that stuff off there. Come on, let's get to the flower shop, get this delivery done. Well, I picked up the flowers from Deb's shop. I've got them. Um, flowers delivered successfully. We're, I'm in a beautiful village here. It really is lovely. But I've got to find my way back out the village and back to, to Deb's. Come on, let's go. Right, I just got back to Deb's. While I was going along the dual carriageway, I looked in the mirror. I thought, I oh, know that van. It was Harry and Glenn. Oh. Are you failing a bit, H? I need a beer. You need a beer. <laughs> Almost done now, guys. Almost done. It's like the fourth or fifth time I've handled some of these items. I know, you know I know. I know. I'll put those in the garden, mate. I know. It's a pain, isn't it? Isn't it? Just think how good that beer is going to taste, oh. H. How many times you move that now, Glenn? About six times too many. <laughs> You're doing a great job, guys. Everyone's flagging a little bit now. Oh, and my shoulders, every time I moved them, even when I was driving, I was like, oh, my arms. Anyway, let me get back to editing. So Harry's just gone with the red van. I think he's taking it to fill up and then back to the higher place. I think that's the plan. My goodness, Glenn. It's a little bit noisy, isn't it? Where can you put that? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, G, you're all done. All done. Oh, how, how does that feel? Yeah, good. It's been a long day, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a long two days. Yes, yeah, actually. Been, yeah, it's yeah. been a long two days. I know. But that's done now. All I'm saying is normally when there's this much heavy lifting going on, someone gets a kebab at the end of it. I'm just <laughs> saying. Yeah. Righty, we are heading to the boat, to the boat club to pick up the car, to bring that back here. Glenn also is going to pick up some bits and pieces from the boat too. Oh, it says flood ahead. Proceed with caution, Mr. Warner. That is high. Oh, oh, Glenn. Yeah, that'd be right. No. Let's go. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Oh, oh. Oh, that's stressful. I won't come back that way. No, I'm not <laughs> coming back that way. Yeah. So I just got back to Deb's. I mean, I know I'm a slowish driver. No, I am just slow. Uh, Mr Warner left after me and he's got back to Debs before me. 
How did that work? Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Sunday. You find us in Deb's kitchen. Deb, cooking up a storm. She's got no makeup on, you can't see her. Glenn is making coffee. So Deb and I went to Morrison's to pick up a cake for dessert for later, for the family gathering. Oh look, they're so cute. No, they're so cute. We're just having a look round while we're here. Oh look at those. <laughs> How cute are they? So we've been in, we've got a cake, we have got some deliciousness, we've got some prizes for the grab raffle later. Yeah, we've got it all. United Counties, my dad used to work for the United Counties. Hello my darling, how are you? Hello, hello. Is that for Nanny for her birthday? Hello gorgeous girls. Oh. Guacamole, coleslaw, and chimichurri. Oh, Mark! Mark's the same as me. It's it's what I call love in action. Feeding people mm, delicious food. Yeah. It is it is the way we show love. And and Mark's cooking. It's delicious. Are you having a go, Leo? Can I show you what I can play? Oh God, that's too. Can I show? Look, look, look. Watch this. Watch this. Night. What's going on out here, Glenn? Cheerleader, cheer, explanation. Uh, uh, on, on cheerleading. Cheer, 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 cheer. I thought she said chair. Cheer. Cheer. <laughs> and... Whoa! Look at that! Excellent, my darling. <laughs> Thank you. <so> <laughs> Leo. <laughs> Me is recruiting for our squad, teaching how to do cartwheels. <laughs> Lily, Lily, Lily. Hey you are taller than me. How did that happen? Uh, you see, human bodies grow. Uh, yeah, well, not mine and Nan's. It didn't work like that for us. <laughs> oh, well done! Yeah. <laughs> Excellent! 
<laughs> oh, she says, I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then, show us. So, this is called a tub shape. This is called a star shape. Food ready. We have some steak, I mean. So, we're going to play grab raffle. The reason we're doing it super quick is Harry, Hayley and the kids got to go soon. So it's a quick game of grab raffle. We have in here a surprise gift. It's sellotaped. So you can't open it. You can't game, open it to the games. What we've got, we've got some nice smellies here, guys. Everybody, look. Ooh. A really nice smelly candle. And this one's called Adventure. Some Kinder Surprise, Kinder Surprise, we've got some very expensive cress which you can grow at home with just an eggshell and some cotton wool and then we got some giant chocolate buttons. Oliver's going to pull and shout the numbers, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, two, seven. Nine, zero. <laughs> Nine and three. Nine and three. Ninety-three. Oh, that is stolen. That. Nine and eight. Ninety-eight. Hey, that's me. It's Leo. What are you going? The surprise boss. This is proving popular. So let's have a look what that is on. Oh, everyone's gathering round. What? What's, what is it? What's your one? What? <laughs> what you always wanted? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Do you fancy some cake? Donut? Do you want a donut? Say yes, please. <laughs> you got to go now. She's like, no, I want to stay here. So everyone's gone now. It's quiet. Listen, you can hear a pin drop. So we've had to tidy up. Going to sit down, put our feet up. 